we don't care. I think this this locker room don't care. We don't care what outsiders think. Um, we know our true fans have our back, and we know every guy in this locker room have each other back, and that's all that matters, man. When you start playing for outsiders, that's when you get into thinking about all that. But we don't care, man. We're just trying to play collective basketball for each other and, and do it on both ends of the court. When LeBron is, is playing as the, the primary defender on somebody, anybody, I guess, he, he's not able to sort of roam around and play free safety the way he likes to. What's the advantage of having him off? Playing as the primary defender on somebody, and especially in a case like tonight where Demar is is playing quite well against him. Uh, it's big, man. You know, um, that's what we want. We, you know, we want every guy to be uh, reliable, and I think that's the biggest thing tonight. Um, they tried to switch it up and put LeBron on, but you know that didn't work. So um, Jr. tried to guard him, that didn't work. So, you know, you just got to be aggressive. I think that's what we're doing. Kyle's being aggressive, DeMar's being aggressive, I'm being aggressive, and that's the biggest thing we got to do. We just got to keep trying to be aggressive and attack them and live with the results. How did you see the, how did you see the uh, Biombo block and LeBron at the end of the first half? Oh, I seen it. I seen it live. I was, I was close as you, but it was, I don't know. I'm not a ref, man. I'm not going to make it. Coach just got fined, didn't he? I'm not trying to get fined. Uh, given how important home series, uh, home court has been in the series back to the regular season as well, how do you bring the energy you guys have had the last two games into Cleveland for Game Five? I think now we know what it takes. You know, we know what kind of energy we gotta we, we gotta play with. We can't rely on our fans. Our fans been great, and I think they really got us over the edge when they started making it run. But we gotta learn how to get energy from each other. You know, and uh, Kyle and Demar gotta bring the energy on the offensive end. If we can do that, man, hopefully we can go down to Cleveland and steal one. And speaking of the crowd, it seemed like they have been getting louder every game. They've been getting. Do you think that's possible at this yeah, point? Yeah, I think they're getting louder, and I don't know. Are they letting more people in? That's the question. I don't know, but they're getting really loud. And, I, and the same fans, I guess they need to let those same fans this game in on game six. There was a, a play in the third. Uh, Kyle hits a big shot just before timeout. And he seemed to be waving you guys off. Pat said that he kind of said, that, that don't celebrate quite yet. A coach is always talking about playing with poise and composure. How important has Kyle's leadership been in, in that regard throughout the playoffs and kind of keeping you guys level-headed? Oh, it's been great. You know, that, that, that's, you know, he's one of the leaders on the team. You have to, and he's just doing his part. You know, everybody has a part and he's doing his part. And that's the biggest thing that we need for him to do is, you know, he's the point guard. Him and Corey Joe, they're the point guard. They're the head of the snakes. So they got to lead us on the floor and be a coach on the floor. How was, uh, what was going through your mind those last two minutes, knowing it's going to be like uh, any way to one point in maybe game? Nothing. I'm just thinking about defense. That's all I can think about is defense, defense, because I was sitting there when it was just an offensive fest, but then, it, then I said, once I get back in, I'm going to focus on defense, and that's what I did. Anecdotally, the home court advantage seems to mean more in basketball compared to other sports. What are some of the ways that that translates into into making a difference for you guys when you're on the floor playing? Uh, fans. I think the fans, the loudness, you know, can't hear your coaches, can't get the right call. There's a lot of things that play into it. But um, that's what we got to do, man. That's what we got to learn how to, you know, tune everybody out and keep our composure on the road. And uh, I think we will. And I think we will have a, definitely have a better game in game five than we had the first two games. First 